Is CRISPR something that was invented or something that was discovered? Mm. Well, I, you know, it's a little of each. Uh, almost every major invention involves some basic scientific discovery. Um, it is not at all obvious that, that just because you've made a discovery, it's going to turn into an invention. There are many, many discoveries that, that, that take forever or, or, or a long time to or never become an invention. Uh, and some of these things that we just, most, many of these molecular technologies that we come originally from microorganisms, but some of them are still in microorganisms. So, for example, we have a competing te another technology that we're using um, that only works in E. coli K12, um, called MAGE or, or uh, beta. Um, and I think eventually it will escape, but it's been, we've been working on it much longer than CRISPR, and then we happened to try CRISPR, and it worked uh, almost first time. So maybe one thing just to follow up, um, what George was alluding to is that it actually, the, the, the parts that are involved in CRISPR are part of a bacterial innate immunity or a defense system in those bacteria. So they, they existed, but it took a, a suite of very smart people to uh, <laughs> figure out how to adapt that and make it useful for us. So it's been around and, and it's, it's in this room yeah. right now. It's uh, something that exactly. bacteria it's have, have always used. <laughs> yeah, maybe another way of saying it is the bacteria use it to kill viruses. We use it to edit genes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's a very different thing. It's not just a discovery. Right. That, that's, right. that's the difference. Mm -hmm.